to help this committee dispel the persistent and dangerous myth that our entitlement programs are sustainable as currently structured, can you describe the fiscal and economic consequences of doing nothing on entitlements and simply allowing Social Security and Medicare to run their course? And, and could you please put uh, figure one back up? That was the one on the tidal wave of debt because I'm concerned about the effect of doing nothing with our entitlement programs on this very tidal wave. Well, you're correct that um, the, uh, the entitlement programs are not self-funded. They're unfunded liabilities to a significant extent at this point. Um, they are the biggest single component of uh, spending going forward. Um, now, the various ways to address this, you can restructure entitlement programs, you can cut other things, but at some point you need to address the overall budgetary situation. Uh, if you don't, you'll get a picture like this one where uh, interest rates are rising, interest payments are rising because the debt outstanding is growing exponentially. Um, and at that point, uh, things will come apart. Um, a famous economist once said, anything that can't go on forever will eventually stop. And this will stop, but it might stop in a very unpleasant way in terms of sharp uh, cuts, uh, a financial crisis, high interest rates that, uh, that stop growth, um, continued borrowing from abroad. So clearly we need to get control of this uh, over the medium term. And, and we're certainly going to have to look at entitlements because that's a very big part of the obligations of the federal government going forward. The only plan that I've seen that addresses entitlements and spending comprehensively uh, is uh, Ranking Member Ryan's plan that can be read on AmericanRoadmap.org. Are you aware of any other plan uh, to comprehensively address both entitlements and non-entitlement spending? Um, I think Brookings and a few others have provided programs, but I, uh, they're pretty, pretty rare. I agree with that. 